Hi, my name is Mandolin Royal. It's Thursday, so we're back with Tornado and his friend. This is take two, because they were being absolutely ridiculous and full of themselves. I gave them a sprinkling of feed for entertainment. So it's a 20% all flock starter. There's also been some significant changes in their growth from one to the other, and as they compare to each other, since we have the growth history on Tornado, we get to compare the other one against it, even though his friend is a week behind in age. So I am gonna go through and weigh them for the sake of science so that you can see. If he gets off the scale, it has to be at zero, buddy. Go ahead and come here. It was two pounds, four ounces. We'll see if we can get him to stand still long enough to show it. Do you want to get on there or are you fascinated by paper? Oh, close enough. It's 36 ounces for a tornado. This little friend, one pound, six ounces. And I went ahead and wrote down what their weights were so we could look at that in a little more detail. Get off of it. So last week, when Tornado was six weeks old, he was 27 ounces, and that was his second consecutive week for a seven ounce gain. His new friend, introduced last week at five weeks old, he was 17 ounces, which was three ounces behind Tornado at that same age. So this week, we've got a seven-week-old tornado who did a nine-ounce gain, and his six-week-old friend weighed in at 22 ounces for a five-ounce gain. His friend started three ounces behind tornado, and now he's five ounces behind tornado. So their growth rates are really dramatically different, and this is part of the reason why it's so incredibly important to do this step as they're growing out. Because if you want to have your table birds at 16 or 18 weeks, you've got to push a little for that growth rate. And if they didn't do it early, they're going to take their sweet time about it. So it'll be neat to see how these various growth rates perform over the next several weeks. Tornado has just decided to sit on my shoulder right now. He's being super cute. Going to have to get him down so we can get back to looking at them. There's further differences between them. Come here. You're gonna you're gonna have to get down. Be a chicken. Go. His foot color, I don't think it's gonna get blue. It might pick up a tinge later, but I don't think it's gonna. But that little tip of yellow that he had on his beak, that's dramatically reduced from what it was. So there's hope that the coloration may change a little bit, but I'm not gonna hold out on that hope. Under normal circumstances, I would have pegged him as a dinner bird already, but I think he's gonna make a great education bird instead. He's gonna be way too friendly. Their structure is gonna be completely different. Tornado's a lot taller, longer leg, longer body. This guy's got the shorter leg, but he still has body length. Not quite as long, but in relation to the rest of them. They're both starting to show their decidedly male characteristics. Tornado has the waddles coming. He's starting to get some color to the comb. You can see on his friend, the waddles are starting to peek in and his comb is starting to jump up. But just look at their head shape right now. This guy's a little longer and a little more narrow in his head. The tornado has a bigger head. I mean, he's bigger all the way around, but you can see that shape slightly different. We'll see if they let me get a top view.
There's one week of age difference. That's it. Seven days. And while a lot can change in seven days, these guys may as well be from different families. They do have the same dad and they have different mothers. And just one hen difference can make a completely different bird. Which is another reason why the selection piece matters so much. It's every single bird in a group that you're hatching from is going to have an impact on how those offspring are going to pan out. And between these two, they're showing us a lot on how different your results can be from egg to egg and from flock to flock. I do like having friendly chickens. It's been a while. <laughs> Normally I don't spoil them or mess with them, but this is letting me get pretty up close and detailed. This one, even though he's growing different and he's lighter in weight, I can still feel the meat down the keel line. And he's still fleshing in. He's just going to be a smaller framed bird with a shorter stature. I think he's going to pick up some of the facial bluing too. Can I see your wing? I'm hoping eventually that I can get to where I can lift the wing out and just kind of tease it out to show with one hand so I can get it on camera. I'm petting him on his body a little bit and then I'm just trying to tease the wing out. He's not having it. What about Tornado? They're both in the middle of growing feathers, so I can't imagine this is the most comfortable sensation. He's starting. Maybe next week. But the differences, I can't get over this. Those are very different numbers from bird to bird and from week to week. Tornado went from a consecutive seven ounce gain to a whopping nine ounce gain in a week. So now I'm really, really excited about next week. See how different these guys are gonna end up. Cause I didn't get to hand pick these birds. The universe chose them for me. When that tornado came through and this guy was the only one that hatched out of his entire tray of eggs after our four day power outage. And I had to be his buddy for a week which is how he got so friendly. And this guy, his eggs were also at the beginning of incubation when that happened. And his hatch was really small. And I don't think the birds were laying that well during that whole ordeal either. So it's a very small, small sample. But I am kind of glad that they're so different because they're going to teach us a lot. And I'm glad I had the chance to make them friendly so we can get pretty hands-on. I'm watching them grow out. No matter how they finish out, it's the journey of watching them get there. They're always going to teach you something. So next week we'll see what's different then and if anything else surprises us in the gains. We'll see you next Thursday. <laughs>